today is another story just like yesterday's where we feature more record smashing storms. Today is about October 23rd, 2016 and Hurricane Patricia, the strongest hurricane on record in the Western Hemisphere. Hi, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, brought to you by the Royal Canadian Mint. Find the new painted dime featuring blue notes in your change. Hurricane Patricia became the record strongest hurricane in the Western Hemisphere with 215 mile per hour winds. That's over 345 kilometers per hour. We're talking race car fast this day in weather history. It was on the 23rd when Patricia was first observed spinning off the coast of Mexico on the eastern Pacific Ocean shores of the country. Now, for historical reference, while a number of typhoons in the western North Pacific have been technically measured as stronger, Patricia is by far the strongest hurricane on record in any basin where the term hurricane applies to tropical cyclones. And this is not just semantics, but a point of importance. This is massive because it makes this storm the strongest in its category in the central and eastern North Pacific basins and the North Atlantic basin, including the North Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea. <laughs> when you consider the wall bangers that have happened over the many days in weather history in these waters, most of which I've talked about on this podcast, for Patricia to be lauded over all of them says a lot about what we're going to find out about this storm in this episode, again, in this podcast. First, the National Hurricane Center reported that Patricia's surface pressure bottomed out at 872 millibars on the 23rd, the lowest on record in the Western Hemisphere and the second lowest on record for the world, just behind the 870 millibars observed in Super Typhoon Tip in 1979. All right, back it up. What does that even mean? Okay, the deeper the low, the greater the draw of moisture up into the atmosphere that will need to eventually drain itself over something and someone. Basically, tropical cyclone strength comparisons are typically based on minimum central pressure. In general, a lower pressure means a more intense hurricane. And these readings meant that there was something winding up with a strength that would unleash one hell of a storm. You're listening to This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network in Canada, reminding you to check your change for the new painted dime featuring Blue Nose from the Royal Canadian Mint. Hurricane Patricia made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour, over 240 kilometers per hour in Jalisco State, southwestern Mexico, on this day in weather history around dinner time, 6.15 Central Daylight Time. But then this monster underwent what is called an eyewall replacement cycle. Phenomenal. More terms than I'm going to have to explain. I know it sounds like some kind of painful hockey injury. It actually does, doesn't it? Think of it. Eye wall replacement. Yikes! But this is actually a feature that occurs with significant hurricanes like we had with Patricia. There is that signature eye of the storm. We've all seen it. The open clear area in the center around which everything goes bad. This is the wind and the rain. So what happens is a new eye begins to develop around the old eye, then gradually decreases in diameter and replaces the original one. When this transition occurs, the intensity of the hurricane will tend to decrease. Okay, that's the good news. Uh, then there's the bad news. It also tends to now spread the hurricane force winds out over a larger area. So I guess it's a pick your poison sort of setup. In the case of this storm, there was severe flooding in the mountainous terrain of southern Mexico, and it went on to damage or destroy over 10,000 homes and about 100,000 acres of farmland. So yeah, this sounds like it went on to spread its devastation rather broadly, unfortunately. Coastal flooding lasted several days from the states of Jalisco to Guerrero, who also suffered beach erosion and damage to several buildings and structures. In all, it was estimated that Patricia caused close to $325 million in damage when it hit hard and broke records on this day in weather history. Tomorrow is October 24th, and we're going back to the ballpark for our October special series called 
World Series weather. Time for more peanuts and Cracker Jack as we revisit the hottest temperatures ever endured for a World Series baseball game. This one was in 2017 when the LA Dodgers were in Houston to play the Astros. It was scorching hot, blazing hot, like this podcast. That story is tomorrow on This Day in Weather History with me, your host, Chris May, and brought to you by the Royal Canadian Mint. Find the new painted dime featuring Blue Nose in your change. See you tomorrow.